Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, and this is my review for Tom Clancy's The Crew, which released for the PlayStation 4 and that other vastly inferior console back in the year of our Lord, 2015. And yes, I did refer to the game as Tom Clancy's The Crew, because as you're probably aware, every single game released by Ubisoft basically is a game by Tom Clancy. And I must admit I am rather impressed that the man is able to develop games from beyond the grave. So, yes, this is my review for his game, The Crew. Now, what is The Crew? Well, you might be led into believing it's some kind of game about uh, perhaps taking place on a ship. We play as one of the crew who falls in love with a lovely cabin girl. And they have a tumultuous relationship before a giant sea monster appears off the shores of Japan and demolishes the boat. And then they end up in the water and... The chap has to be in the water so that the woman can... You know, I'm basically reciting the plot of Titanic there, but I think you get what I mean. No, actually, this is a car game where we play as Troy Baker extraordinaire who is uh, getting revenge against uh, a member or the leader of a gang who murdered his brother in cold blood. Oh no, oh no. So we are teamed up with an FBI agent. Rather nice piece of torty to uh, avoid a, a future prison sentence and to take this uh, dickhead down, basically. Now, you might imagine, well, I suppose we raid his accommodation, go in, guns blazing, take the bastard out. Well, no. First, we have to participate in races, uh, speed trials, crushing boxes, and the like. Now, I might ask, what's that got to do with taking down some leader of a gang? Well, I ask myself the very same question about 45 times while playing this game, and I always arrived at the same answer. Fuck if I know. So, that's basically the answer I'm going to use in response to your question. What has that got to do with the game, OCG? Fuck if I know. Now, as you can see here, I'm using some what looks like gameplay in the background of uh, me performing rather badly in the game. Well, this is not actually footage of me in the game. This is me driving in real life. So, think of that what you will. I don't actually have a driver's license anyway, so I mean, the, those things are so 1999. So, what else can I tell you about the game? Uh, well, you perform in races, as I said. Uh, you perform in speed trials, and you also do something where you have to drive over boxes. Yes, I, you heard me correctly. Drive over boxes. Now, I must admit, I almost quit this game three times. And on each of those occasions, it's because you had to do one of those bloody crush the box missions. And I said to myself, you know, I... I would much rather have sex with a 104 euro man, again, than play this stupid level. But, for the benefit of you, my dear viewers, I persevered that I got through these sections. Heaven knows how. Lot of alcohol, uh, some class A drugs, narcotics, which is the same as class A drugs, it just sounds a little bit better. And I eventually got through the, those parts, and I managed to finish the game. So it's set out very much like an Ubisoft game, other Ubisoft Tom Clancy games. You basically go to different locations, you know, maybe a, a part of America, participate in a few races, take down the boss of that area, then you move on to the next, do some more races, crush some boxes, have a wank, have a couple of drinks, take the boss down for that area, move on to the next area, run over some old people, adopt a child, 
uh, buy some new trousers, take the boss down in that area, etc, etc. Then at the end of the game, we get to the person we want revenge against, and we figuratively ram our automobile up his ass. Now, I have heard in the past that people describe automobiles as something that is rather sexy. I, on the other hand, have never thought quite so much. I've never really been into cars. And to be honest, I've certainly never wanted to have sex with a car. So I don't know how we could say that automobiles are sexy. Unless, of course, we're referring to David Cronenberg's film Crash. I assume that if you haven't seen it, you should, uh... Go and watch it right now. You may find it a rather enlightening experience. So, without much further ado, and so I stop rabbiting on and making these pointless jokes, let's get to my score for the game. I'm going to give Tom Clancy's The Crew a 7. Point 2. Point 3. Point 4. Point 5. Point 6. Point 7. Point 8. Point 9 out of 10. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen, my review for Tom Clancy's The Crew. Now I must admit this was the first car game I actually managed to finish, other than some of the more cartoon efforts in the past, and I must say, I, all things considered, I rather enjoyed the game. So if you enjoyed this review, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, give me the middle finger, leave some abuse in my comments section, send me some of your excrement, and as always, stay obsessed!